Coventry United Match Day highlights are sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters plus 125cc motorcycles, also stocking a wide selection of helmets, protective clothing and accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440 Email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or pay them a visit at 301 Walsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2 4BL. Struck towards goal and Marriott, what a save! Rich Morris, outstanding reflexes keeping United level, pegging with Hina. Courtney Cameron, cross put in, and it's a poor one and hooked away by Josh Craddock. But here comes Chris Cox, it's Cox, what a save! Into the hands of the goalkeeper, Adam Jablonski. Well, you don't win the raffle if you don't buy a ticket. An ambitious over from Chris Cox. Sets up Kevin Fordson for a stride down the centre. Onto the right now with Courtney Cameron. The former Aston Villa youngster striding down the right hand side, looking for an option under pressure from Leighton. Can he get the cross in? Still going Cameron. Cross is put in. It's towards Glasgow. Push up on the goalkeeper. It's still loose though. Valence! And it drifts wide the near post. Pass by Rawson intercepted. Fordson. Time for a grade two. Show on a goal perhaps. It's deflected. And towards the far post. Williams has it crossed the line. No, it hasn't. Coventry United coming close, swapping the scoring, they're the ball bobbling around in the six yard box. Williams got a touch, it was cleared off the line. Give it, Bobby Moore! And it remains scoreless as we head towards the break. Eaters, number one. Jack wants it, Jack! And it's through another Jack Warner in the priority area. Warner and parried well by Rich Morris. And the follow up attempt well saved again by Rich Morris. Outstanding goalkeeping from United's number one. The first shot was straight at him, but the second one was a great catch. But the clearance only as far as. Valance who finds Kevin Thornton. Thornton striding forward now. It's Thornton puts it into the area for Kyle Williams. Can he turn? He tried. It's O'Grady and he tries to stab it into the area. Williams gets on it. Forced down from behind. Penalty kick. No way. Penalty kick, Coventry United. And Kevin Thornton striding towards the penalty spot. Oh. Kai Williams pushed from behind. And Kevin Thornton. Follow it up! Who has been very successful with spot kicks this season. Looks to add another to his already impressive collection. He scored one at Long Eaton two weeks ago. What will be the result this time? Same result! Kevin Thornton scores and gives Coventry United the lead. Well, Hina have been pushing United all the way at the start of this second half, but it's the Red and Greens who have the advantage of Sphinx Drive. Come on, Hina, you're on top. Whitmore nods it across the face of goal, hook back in. Rawson can't bring it down, and Kevin Thornton will clear the danger. Here's Joshua Grady. Strides past Craddock. Boots it forward, looking for Kai Williams. Will Williams get there? He might, you know. He has got there. Brilliant ball from O'Grady. Williams cuts in. Kai Williams for two. And well saved by Jablonski. Fortson over the crossbar. The follow-up out from Kevin Fortson. He couldn't quite keep it down. But two outstanding opportunities for Coventry United. Crafted from a long ball from Josh O'Grady. Swung in, it's towards loose Eisen, and he can't make contact with the header. They'll fall to the far side now of Courtney Cameron, strides in, Cameron, low to mood him, and it's put in, is it? No, Eisen, well saved there, Lewis Eisen striking towards the net. Brilliant save by Adam Jablonski to keep out the teenage centre-back. Naylor. <laughs> Holton intercepts, it's towards Josh O'Grady, this to seal it for Coventry United, O'Grady, and it's just about saved, is it? No it isn't! Coventry 
United seal the victory. Kai Williams will claim it. O'Grady with the initial dig at goal. It seemed as if Jablonski had just got enough to it, but it dropped right onto the head of Kai Williams. Williams is claiming it. O'Grady's getting part of the spoils as well from his teammates. Well, I'm going to give it to Williams. It didn't seem as if it went over the line until Williams nodded it into the net. So that's three goals in two games for Kai Williams. And surely the win is safe now for the Red and Greens. Coventry United 2, Hena Town 0. Well, Kai Williams is ready for the counter. It's swung in, and Ralston is still alive here. Nail it in! Hope for Hina! And it's Joe Naylor who stabs it into the top corner from close range. Have they got enough time to go and get a second? Is this game over yet? Nothing is ever certain in football, and we could have had to be seeing Keep working, boys. that phrase come to fruition here at Sphinx Drive. Coventry 2, Hina 1. This game isn't over yet. Well, now Kai Williams rather eagerly wanted to get this game started. And once again, <laughs> a definite ploy to try and waste some time. And sadly for Hina, that is the final whistle. They won't have another chance to go after the equaliser. Coventry United have sealed the victory. Harsh on Hina, who really could have scored several times in the second half, the early stage of the second half. But Coventry United seal revenge after the late heartbreak they suffered at the town ground in November. The same scoreline applies here at Sphinx Drive. But once again, it is the home team taking the spoils. But this time it's Coventry United taking home the three points. The final score at Sphinx Drive, Coventry United 2, Hina Town 1. Well, Lewis, 2 on victory for Coventry United today. You must be absolutely ecstatic with that victory. Yeah, it's about time we got a good victory over these. Um, boys dug in, got the result in the end. Well, a uh, ferocious attacking display from uh, Hina today, especially at the start of the second half. Was there ever a moment when you thought, yeah, th these guys are going to crack us, we're not going to get this? Well, they had a few big lads, but I thought the defence, me and Coxie stood up too well. Miser did, did well, so I thought we did, defended well. Well, last couple uh, of games you've kept the likes of Rob Prinzel and Jamie Coleman out of the team. How hard is it to keep down a, a place in the starting line with players like uh, Rob and, and uh, Jamie Coleman just pushing you for your starting place? Well, the first two games I was on the bench, obviously, and then I got Terry giving my chance in the third game. Took it well, and ever since then I've been in, been uh, in front of uh, Rob, but Rob's injured at the moment, so. But hopefully when he's back I can keep my place in the team. We've got a short break now, Westfield's in uh, 10 days' time on uh, next Wednesday. What are your hopes for that game? Westfield's away, is it? Yeah. Well, I'm new to this league, I don't really know what, <laughs> what the teams are like, but I'll just take every game as it comes, just get the job done. Well, best of luck for the game. Cheers.